Hey everybody, it's me, and uh, this is day 10 of my self-isolation, and uh, decided to take a walk. Um, it's a calculated risk, but um, felt like I really needed some exercise, and, uh, so I'm just going to walk around the block and then back to my house here. But uh, I have to say, I'm really surprised at how much traffic we see here on St. Francis. This is St. Francis and Hickox here. And I can almost guarantee you that not all of these people are essential workers. And that just goes to show you how serious Santa Fe is taking this global pandemic. But it is the city of holy faith, so a lot of people here probably believe that God will protect them in their faith, uh, which I think is really foolish, of course, but how are you gonna reason with people like that? I mean, uh, anyway, I'm just gonna walk around the block here and then go back to my apartment. I love this old alley. This is uh, where we used to buy beer when we were teenagers. You'd come here to the drive up and you'd place your order at that window and then you'd come over here and pick up your beer and then drive out here. Usually there'd be a few guys standing here begging for change to get a six pack. You don't see them around anymore. There's Hickok Street going downtown to Paseo de Peralta. And in the other direction, we're going down here to back towards Agua Fria. I've never noticed all these flags over before. Somebody must have some Tibetan ministry going on here. Let's see what it is. It's the Tibetan Association of Santa Fe. All right. It's cool. A lot of religious people in Santa Fe. If they don't call themselves religious, they're probably... Uh, believe in some weirdness like, you know, astral projection or uh, ghosts or, you know, uh, some weird pseudo-scientific crap. Good boy. What a good doggy. That's a good dog. He sure seems pissed off. Probably just wants to play. This neighborhood has really improved a lot over the years. As I recall, when I was a child, it was kind of slummy around here, but now you see a lot of these houses have been fixed up quite a bit. Somebody did a nice job on that one. I like the stone wall. Anyway, beautiful sky today. Uh, it did snow this morning for a little while, but obviously, obviously it's nice and sunny and beautiful out right now. Looks like we might get some more little patches of snow coming through here, some little clouds and stuff. Trash pickup is on time, which is nice. Funny place to live, Santa Fe. It's, it's my hometown, but I, I really feel out of place here because I I don't follow the the regular. Uh, I don't follow the crowd, as they say. I, a lot of my own friends think I'm a jerk just because you know I I don't go along with the popular line of rhetoric or the uh, you know believe in some kind of unscientific stuff. I mean, I'm sorry, but uh, call me a skeptic if you want. Uh, to me, a skeptic is someone who likes to see proof. And there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, a lot of people around here don't go with that. 
that's beautiful. I guess that's probably an apricot tree. Unfortunately, all of our fruit trees tend to bloom a little early and then we get a freeze and uh, it damages the blossoms so we never end up getting fruit from them. Well, we do sometimes, just not that often. Maybe once every, I don't know, three to five years we'll get some apricots on the trees. Yeah, and then coming back to my street here, Agua Fria, this is where I've been living lately. In my transient life, I tend to move around a lot, but uh, I'm going to try to stay put for a while if I can help it. And it seems like I might be able to, so. It's definitely snowing on the mountains over there, as you can see. I wonder if I can zoom in on it for you. I'm, I'm still getting used to this camera, but... Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, let's zoom in a little further. Yeah, there you go. You can see the snow on the mountains over there. It's a really beautiful day out. I'm glad I decided to take a walk. But it's time to go home now, so... I guess I'll talk to you all later. Live long and prosper. Much love.